This is St. John chapter 15 and 13. Greater love have no man than this, that, that, a, that a man lay down his life for his friends. First and foremost, I'd like to give all praises and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Rakhah Kadash, double honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutation to you, Aki, and pushing his word with true sincerity, with charity. And uh, I just want to go into this lesson, um, and I'm going to call it, uh, Throw Yourself Into the Machine. Throw Yourself Into the uh, Machine. Now, before I really go into it, I'm going to look up a term called, uh, hold on. Uh, now I want to go into this uh, term called uh, a monkey, uh, to, uh, to throw a monkey wrench into okay basically to throw a monkey wrench into something right and uh here's the definition to damage or change something in a way that ruins it or prevents it from working properly all right okay uh right to throw a monkey wrench and it's uh funny because um the term monkey wrench became from uh um, basically Esau Edom uh, being racist, you know, uh, against a man named Jack Johnson, who was a famous boxer and a musician, uh, music, um, uh, famous boxer and, uh, and uh, inventor. That's what I meant to say. Famous boxer and inventor. He invented the, the, the wrench. And then they uh, Esau called it the monkey wrench, basically calling us a monkey. Okay. But to throw a monkey wrench into um, a situation is to destroy it. You know, there was, um, I believe, in the time of the. Um, let me see, let me see something real quick. All right. Um, here's another word: uh, sabotage. Okay, sabotage is a deliberate action aimed at weakening a polity effort organization through subversion, obstruction, disruption, or destruction. One who engages in sabotage is a saboteur. Saboteurs, and um, I believe that's uh, synonymous with the word sabatos because uh, I believe that that's uh, Spanish for shoes. Correct me if I'm wrong. Saboteurs typically try to conceal their identities because of the consequences of their actions and to avoid invoking legal or organizational requirements of addressing a sabotage. Um, uh, all right, let me get another definition. Right, sabotage Wikipedia. Okay, here it is. The English word derives from the French word saboteur, meaning to bungle, botch, wreck, or sabotage, and was originally used to refer to labor disputes in which workers wearing wooden shoes called sabots interrupted production through different means. The word sabotage apparently appears later. So basically what these workers would do is they would um, uh, matter of fact, let me get this one. Uh, a sabbat is a clog from a French or surrounding country such as the Netherlands, Belgium, or Italy. Sabots either with feet clogs or heavy leather shoes and wooden uh, sabots are considered a work shoe associated with the lower class in the 16th, 19th centuries during the period of the year of the Industrial Revolution. The word sabotage gained currency and alleged technology described the actions of disgruntled workers who willfully damaged workplace machinery by throwing their sabots in the work in the works and in Truth sabotage is derived from the noise and clumsiness associated with the wooden sabot shoe. So that's what I was looking for. Okay. 
So basically, you had these workers that were being basically overworked and underpaid, and they would throw their shoes into the machinery to break it. Okay. And spiritually, that's what we're doing, starting with Yahweh Shai, because he was the ultimate sacrifice. You know, that's why I read the scripture, greater love have no man than he that lay down his life for his friends. So we're literally, uh, matter of fact, let me get a scripture on that. We're literally throwing ourselves into this machine, so to speak. Okay. All right. Okay. This is uh, Romans 12 and 1. I beseech you, therefore, brethren, by the mercies of Yahweh, that you present your bodies a living sacrifice, holy, acceptable unto Yahweh, which is your reasonable service. Okay. So we are a sacrifice. We have to remember that. And we're throwing ourselves into this machine, man. The scriptures also call us a worm. You know, when you throw a worm, you put a worm on a hook. Okay. And you throw it out into the water. And the scriptures just describe uh, these people as a sea of people, as waters, okay? And we're that worm, as the scripture says, uh, that worm causes that worm Jacob, okay? So we're being sacrificed to um, as bait. And we're throwing ourselves into this machine, man. You know, we're being a... Uh, a living sacrifice. Okay. All right. And, um, yeah, man. Matter of fact, uh, all right. Uh, this is, uh, this is Zechariah 12 and 3. And in that day, I will make Jerusalem a burdensome stone for all people. All that burden themselves with it shall be cut in pieces, though all the people of the earth be gathered against it. Okay. And all these nations, <clears throat> all these nations, including the two thirds, are gathered against the men of the Lord. All right. The elect men of the Lord. All right. And, you know, and and basically we're like a stone in Esau's shoe, man. Okay. We're throwing ourselves into this machine and sacrificing ourselves. Okay. You know, presenting ourselves as that living sacrifice, man. And why? Because Yahweh Shah, he had that mindset. Um in fact, let me get a scripture. Right. This is First Corinthians uh, two and sixteen. Uh, matter of fact, let me start. If, let me read up. This First uh, Corinthians two and fifteen. But he that is spiritual judges all things. Yet he himself is judged of no man, for who have known the mind of Hamashiach, who have my, known the mind of the Lord that he may instruct him, but we have the mind of Hamashiach. So we have that same mindset to what be, uh, uh, to be a lamb, to be a sheep, to be basically bait, man. All right. And to throw ourselves into this machine and, 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 and make the gears basically break down, man. And that's what's happening, man. You know, ever since this word started going out, man, you know, this this place has been going down at, at a pretty fast pace, man. You know, the uh, ancient Roman Empire, man, it lasted a, a lot longer than this place, man. You know, basically Jake took it over, but, you know, this place is, this is the short season, man. But, you know, the men of the Lord, we are those lively stones, man. All right, and, and the Lord's throwing those stones into this machine and it's breaking up the gears, man. So we have to have that mindset to be a sacrifice, man. Okay, and that's what we are. And um, 
yeah, that's what we're basically doing, man. You know, there's a little lesson I wanted to do. I hope it was edifying. Uh, Shalom.